Guys, I'll let you in a little secret. We grew from zero subscribers to over 2,000 in the past year because of how we share our content on social media. It might not sound super impressive, but think about it. We usually post niche content about how to use architectural software. It's not for everyone. But the best part is that this secret to growth is ethical and simple. It's repurposing your video. What does this mean? It's just using one video and cutting it up or turning it into five types of content that you can post in Instagram, LinkedIn, or even Facebook. I mean, you name it. You're widely underutilizing your YouTube videos if you're not repurposing them. And you probably have a whole backlog and catalog of videos that are ready to be cut up and put on social media. I'll show you how to turn parts of your videos into five pieces of content. Repurposing your content is a huge time saver. Instead of creating brand new videos for every platform, you can simply take snippets from your longer YouTube videos and turn them into engaging short form content. It's about working smarter, not harder. The key to repurposing is to find those golden nuggets within your longer videos. These are sort of like valuable segments around 30 to 60 seconds long that can stand alone as individual pieces of content. This could be a small quote in the video that would really speak to your audience, an intriguing topic or something that would help them with a concern like, will AI replace architects, for example? Instagram is really pushing short clips on people's feeds, and this is a great way to reach people outside of YouTube and lead them to your videos. Here's how to find them. Watch your YouTube video at two times speed. This will help you quickly identify the most interesting and engaging parts. Look for individual tips, key pieces of advice, or compelling demonstrations. These are all great candidates for short form content. Mark the beginning and end of each golden nugget so you can easily find them later. Once you've found your golden nuggets, it's time to edit them into short, engaging video. All right, so here are a few tips. Use a video editing software like Final Cut Pro or Descript to isolate the golden nugget. Remove any numerical references like tip number two if they don't make sense. For example, if someone is watching a short about tip number two but they don't see tip number one, the content might not make sense. Avoid making your shorts, reels, or TikToks longer than one minute. People on social media generally want bite-sized content and are less likely to watch longer videos. There are some awesome AI tools that can help with repurposing, including the script, Riverside, and Opus Clips. These tools can help with splicing key points throughout your video and even creating captions. They're usually paid but offer free versions and are usually a good investment. We do this a lot for Architect My Business and AI for Architect. And we're always surprised by how easy it is for the AI to find these clips, which would typically take hours to do. All you have to do is log into Riverside. So you have to upload the full podcast or video in the website. Once you have it uploaded, just click on the video. Then click Magic Clips and select 30 to 60 second video to generate your clips. If you want to learn more about AI tools, you can watch our video in the card above. Carousel posts are a great way to share valuable information in a visually appealing way. They are super effective on platforms like Instagram and LinkedIn. Basically, a carousel post is a series of images or videos that users can swipe through. Here's how to create a carousel post from your YouTube video. First is content selection. Go through your video and choose a few key takeaways, steps in a process, or strong visual moments. Each of these will become a separate slide in your carousel post. Search for an Instagram carousel post template on Canva and go ahead and choose one that looks nice and on brand for your content. You want to start with the first slide. In slide one, you should introduce the topic with a captivating hook. This could be a question, a bold statement, or a visually striking image. In slides two to whatever, each slide should focus on one key point, step, or insight. And the final slide should encourage people to watch the full video on your YouTube channel, visit your website, or follow you on social media. No matter what repurposing strategy you choose, always include relevant keywords in your captions and description. This will help people find your content on social media and YouTube. You can incentivize action by offering a resource or something valuable to them such as free checklists, cheat sheets, or discount codes to encourage people to take action. A great way to repurpose your YouTube videos is to turn them into blog posts. This provides a three-minute read for your audience, and you can cross-link the video on both platforms, boosting traffic to your website and your channel. Make your blog post visually appealing also. Embed your YouTube video at the top of the post and add relevant images or screenshots throughout the text. 
This will help break up the text and make it more engaging for readers. People always want something interesting and never something boring. Interactive polls are a great way to engage your viewers. Asking a question or creating a poll is a great way to hook them and get them interested. And there you have it. One video, five ways to repurpose it across different platforms. This is a fantastic way to maximize your reach and get the most out of every video you make. Try these tips and let me know in the comments how they work for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe for more tips on creating content that works for you. Bye!